This time at the Quick Speed Shop, I'm back on Project Green Machine. I'm going to try to get the driver's side exhaust manifold off and hopefully get the new manifolds installed on the 351 engine here. Alright, I'm hoping I don't have too many broken bolt sagas over here like I had on the passenger side. And we'll dive in to unbolt this manifold and see if it'll come off. Back here. here we go. Ah! Woo! Came right off. Look at that. Look at that. A little soak in action. Now, let's see what happens. Bam! This is better than the other side already, I can tell you that. Bam! Cooking the kerosene now. Farmers are out hay and they got all their big equipment running right next door here. All right, here we go. I had to cut the uh, air tube on the back because I couldn't get it disconnected. It's a moment of truth. Here it is. Yeah, this one looks pretty nice. I don't see any crack action. That's good. I can reuse this. There's no, there's no uh, real bad pitting on the back surface. Just saved me 70 bucks right there for a new manifold. So I can reuse this guy. I don't know how they worked on these things in the dealership with a front clip on it. It's pretty much impossible to do anything. This engine, it's not as bad as like a 5.4 set back under here, but still set back under the firewall pretty good. I can remove the air system here. So this is the driver's side of the where am I? This is the driver's side of the air system. This one on here. Oh, there goes the camera. It's the driver's side of the air system here. So once the driver's side manifold, these go to the blow off valves on the intake. This is the pipe for the air the air pump and then the passenger side pipe came down here. So I'm going to be doing a, an air delete kit here. I'm going to be putting an idler pulley in down here on the uh, the lower piece and I put this on. They make a bracket for a Mustang that goes on here. If I use a idler pulley for AC I can I'll show you that in a future video but I can put this together and run the factory serpentine belt some of these trucks came with the air pump delete as a factory option. So that's what I'm going to do is do a factory style air pump delete system on this. And I don't need the air manifolds in this truck to pass inspection because it's exempt for the amount that it's registered for. So I'm going to go ahead and remove all this nonsense from the engine and just run it with regular manifold. Just run it without the air pump system. But I'll be showing that in a future video how I'm going to do an air pump delete kit on this truck. All right, here we go. I'm going to get these studs out of this manifold. I'm going to heat them up. I've cut the air tube flush. I'm going to weld a disc of metal over this to plug this off. Let me fire up this torch. Hopefully I can get these out here with no problem. Thing up here. Just a little bit of red. These are kind of rusted to a weird shape, so I gotta I use that's not going to work. <clears throat> not working good.
man, why? Not working good. Let me keep heating. This isn't working good. I'm going to keep fighting with it. Let's try this impact. Working. I'm going to get the socket off it. Why is everything hot? There we go. You gotta heat it and gotta shake it. Look at that. Fortunately, I don't think my new uh, hardware I ordered for these manfolds comes with studs. Now I gotta buy studs. That's all right. All right bam, there we go. I got the studs out here and uh, all I gotta do is I gotta weld this up, this nut, and this manifold to be all ready to go. I'm just gonna run a little file over the surface here, clean any rust off the surface, and this thing will be ready to reinstall back on the truck with some new gasket action, new bolts, and then I'll get new studs for it here. Right, bam, check it out. I took a carriage bolt and I welded it to this nut, sealed this all up nice. I'm just gonna take a hacksaw and I'm gonna zing these threads off here. This manifold will be ready to install back on the Project Green Machine 351. Boom! And I'm back on this side. I just welded a nut here to this broken off stud. And I weld, tried welding to the broke off stud in the head with a nut in the back. And this, these are kind of warm, so I'm going to try it while they're warm here on the impact and see what happens. Whoa! That didn't work. Snap that right off where I welded her on. Shoot! Try the other one. Alright. No way, Josie. Uh. Hmm. I get a feeling I'm going to have to drill the rear one out because it's so far off in the head. This one I'm going to try another nut. Uh. Then get another nut on here, weld her on, and try it again. Well, that worked terribly. All I got is two broken off studs flush with the head now. So, what am I gonna do? <clears throat> I'm gonna have to get a drill and an easy out and drill it, or maybe just drill it and tap it for new bolts. I don't know. I'm gonna stop for now on this side and put the other side back together. I threw some paint on the block over here. I'm gonna put a new set of plugs in and then put this manifold back on. I got it all welded up, all the plug, everything's plugged up, ready to go. At least I can get this side back together, and uh, I'll have to get an easy out and tackle that other side. Bummer. So I'll get the plugs. I'll get the side back together. It's probably kind of hard to see, but I've got the manifold back installed here after struggling. Look how filthy I am struggling in here in a tight, dirty spot. But I got the driver's side manifold back on. I was able to retain the uh, factory heat shields. I got all my new bolts in here. My nuts installed. I put new four new spark plugs in here. So this side is all buttoned up. I just got to get some studs for the collector pipe. But the, uh, the driver's side is all buttoned up, ready to go. And I guess I'm going to end the video here because I don't have the parts to do that now. I got to order my manifold and it's getting dark and I got to mow the lawn and I'm gonna, this place is a complete disaster. So that's it. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe. I'm putting out new videos every Wednesday and Saturday. Hit the bell for your alerts. Tell your friends. And as always, we'll see you right back here with mosquitoes at the Cluck Speed Shop.